Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Um, if I were to explain my situation, I have iTunes open here. Now what I've done is made a new user account on my Windows computer because my other one's got loads and loads of folders in and I've just basically been clearing it out. Uh, I made a new user and transferred all the important files across and um, I wanted to transfer my music across. Now I'm, I use iTunes mainly for all my music and um, you'll notice that some of them have got uh, exclamation marks against them and um, that is because I transferred some of the music across uh, that I'd been sent over things like uh, Windows Live Messenger. Some people have sent me MP3s and things like that over Windows Live Messenger. So when I go to play them, it's saying the song cannot be used. Now, I don't want to have to go through each one and find out which ones haven't been used. Um, so somehow I want to be able to uh, have the list uh, be scanned and see which ones are not right and then take them out and then I can add them um, manually or just put them all in a folder and have them really sync with this. Uh, because I don't think iTunes has an auto sync functionality but there is a program that you can use that can do this if you have the same problem as me where you have multiple files that are coming up as not being read uh, because either they've been deleted or something like that you don't have to go through each one deleting them because I think a lot of these aren't, aren't right so um, there's something called iTunes library updater now I'm just going to run the setup now apparently this can sync your, I haven't used it yet, this can sync your iTunes library so I'm going to see how easy it is to do. Apparently it has a GUI and a command line um, so it has like an interface to it or you can run like a script or something if you want to run it more than once but I'm just going to be showing you the GUI for the time being. And So it's the first time I've run it, iTunes library update, it looks quite a nice little box here. Um, it says music location so I assume I can just put my music in it because that's where all my music is actually located. So if I went uh, Duncan 2 my music. Okay. Uh, I can open a profile or save a profile. I can scan for specific extensions. Uh, add new media, update track info, search in subdirectories. Yep, I want to do that. Update iPod. I don't have. Uh, um, closes iTunes after updating your library. Well, I'm going to close iTunes now anyway. Clean orphaned entries. Now that's what I want. Clean files only on fixed drives only. Clean files on fixed drive. Only invalid entries in the iTunes library that were stored in the local hard disk drives will be deleted. Uh, yeah, we'll have that one. Synchro clean. Entries in the iTunes library that are still valid but not in the location you specify will be removed. Uh, yeah, I'll have that one as well. And um, I don't really want to add new media, so what I'm trying to do is just clean the ones out that I've got and sync. Uh, so I'm going to just... Uh, I'll go into the advanced just quickly. Try to locate automatically, set location manually. So I'm going to have this automatic and we're going to start, let's see what happens. So I've got about 1,800 uh, tunes, oh it's actually opened up iTunes for me. So yeah, oh wow, now it's done it. <laughs> so it's discovered all the ones that I haven't got and it's actually now removing them. That is great. And it's done. Wow, it can't get easier than that. So if you have problems with your iTunes and um, you want to add new media, you want it to sync with a specific folder on your hard drive or you want to remove media because you've moved files across places because I'm then going to add them again, uh, probably using this tool because uh, they're all back into my, I moved them from my received files from Windows Live Messenger onto into my music so uh, the link's broken but then I can now add it again using this updater tool so uh, this is great, I highly recommend this, um, you may not want to you can, I think you can set it to run more than once. You might want to run like a scheduled task and a batch script or something like that. Um, but it's great to use if your iTunes library has several uh, files that you can't uh, actually play because the link isn't there anymore. So thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.